Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Thank you for coming. This is a Sidur, the blue book, in Hebrew and English. Please rise, page 65 to 106, be led today by Mr. Jack Borat. Shh, we don't talk, we pray. Thank you. Page 65. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher natan lasoch vivina, levchin ben yom uvein laila. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Sheasani betzalmo. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Sheasani Yisrael. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Sheasani ben chorim. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Pokeo kivrim. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Malbi Sharumim Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Matir Asurim Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Zokev Kefufim Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Rokah Haaretz Al Hamayim Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Shasali Kol Turki Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Amechim Mitzad Egaver Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Ozer Yisrael Bigvura Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Ontar Yisrael Betifara Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Anoten Layayet Koach Unteneinu Hayom Uvechol Yom Lechenu Chesed Urachamim Beinecha Uveinecho Roeinu Vetigmeleinu Chasadim Tovim Baruch Atah Adonai, Shomel Chasadim Tovim Le'amo Yisrael. Ashreinu Shanachnu Mashkimim Umarivim Erev aboker ve'omrim pa'amayim b'chol yom Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Kadesh et Shimcha alma kvishe shemecha Vekadesh et Shimcha me'olamecha Uvishuatcha tarim v'tagbiya karnenu Baruch atah Adonai Mekadesh et Shimcha barabim Yehi ratzo milfanecha, Adonai Eloheinu velohe avoteinu, Sheiba nebet hamikdash vimhera leameinu, Veten chalkeinu betoratecha, Vesham navdecha meira ki meolam, Uchshanim kadmoniot. Kaddish de Rabbanan on page 71, Mourners kindly please rise. Yitgadal vitkadash meraba, ויעלמה דברה חירותי וימליך מלכותי בחייכון וביומכון ובחיי דכל בית ישראל בעגלה ובזמן קריב אמרו אמן יהי שמי רבה מבורך לעולם ולמי עולמיה יתברך וישתבח ויתפאר תרומם ויתנשא ויתהדר ויתעלה ויתעלה שמי דקודשה בריחו לילה מן כל ברכתה ושירתה, תוזבחתה ונחמתה, דם איראן בעולמיו, אמרו אמן. על ישראל ועל רבנן ועל תלמידיהון, ועל כל תלמידי תלמידיהון, ועל כל מנדי עסקין באורייתא, 
דיבי עצרה הדין ודיבי כל הצר ועצר יעלהון ולכון שלמה רבה חינה וחיש דברה חמין וחין אריכין ומזון הרוויחה ופורקן אמין קדם עבור דיבי שמיה ואמרו אמן יהי שלמה רבה מן שמיה וחיים טובים עלינו ועל כל ישראל ואמרו אמן עושה שלום במרומיו וברחמיו יעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל ואמרו אמן. פייג' 72. היום יום שבת קודש. להגיד כי אשר אדוני צורי ולא עבלת הבו. פייג' 80 דוד אדוני אורי רינג וקבל אדוני מזמור של חנוכת הבית לדוד למען יזמך כבוד ולא ידום, אדוני אלוהי לעולם עודך. מונס קדיש אנד פייג' 82. התגדל והתקדש מרבה, בעולמה דברה חירותי וימליך מלכותי, בחייכון וביומכון, חיי דכל בית ישראל, בעגלה ובזמן קרי, ואמרו אמן. יהי שמי רבה מבורך לעולם עולמי עולמיה יתברך וישתבח ויתפאר תומם ויתנשא ויתהדר ויתעלה ויתעלל שמי דקודשה בריכו לילה מן כל ברכתה ושירתה תוזבחתה ומחמתה דם איראן בעולמה ואמרו אמן יהי שלמה רבה מן שמיה וחיים עלינו ועל כל ישראל, ואמרו אמן. עושה שלום במרומיו, ויעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל, ואמרו אמן. Please rise together, page 83, for פסוקי דה זמרה. ברוך שאמר והיה העולם, ברוך הוא, ברוך עושה בראשית. ברוך אומר ועושה, ברוך גוזר ומקיים, ברוך מרחם על הארץ, ברוך מרחם על הבריות, ברוך משלם שכר טוב לרעיו, ברוך הילד וקיים לו נצח, ברוך פודה ומציל, ברוך שמא. מלך משובח ומפואר, עדי עד שמו הגדול, ברוך אתה אדוני, מלך מהולל בתשפחות. כל אלוהי העמים אלילים, ואדוני שמים עשה. רוממו אדוני אלוהינו, והשתחוו להר קודשו, כי קדוש אדוני אלוהינו. אדוני הושיע, המלך יעננו ביום קורנו. ואני בחושבך בטחתי, יגל ליבי בישועתך, אשיר על אדוני, כי גמל עלי.
vihiu le ratoni mefi le yigom bibi le panecha Adonai turi le goali. Ode Adonai nefesh avadav velo yeshvu kolachosim bo. Vihi no Adonai lohenu alenu uma ase yadenu konena alenu uma ase yadenu koneneu. Orech yami mazbiyehu v'areyu bishu ati. Bet Yisrael barchu et Adonai Beit Aharon Baruch Hu et Adonai, Beit Alevi Baruch Hu et Adonai, Ire Adonai Baruch Hu et Adonai, Baruch Adonai Mitzion, Shachen Yerushalayim, Hallelujah. Notem lechem lechu basar, ki leolam chazdo, odu lel hashamayim, ki leolam chazdo. You may be sitting with 90 friends with your face like that. Yehi chazdecha Adonai aleinu ka'asher yichalnu lach. Lehagid ki asher Adonai turi velo avlata bo. Eido techa nemnu meon, levetcha nava kodesh, Adonai leorech yamim. Adonai hoshia, hamelech yan inu veyom korenu. Tehi vat Adonai edaber pi, levarech kol asar shem kodcho le'olam ba'ed, v'anachnu nevarech ya, me'ata ve'ad olam, hallelujah. Imloch Adonai le'olam Elohayich Tzion le'dor v'ador, hallelujah. Asachem lechol goy, umishpatim bal yedahum, hallelujah. Vayarem keren lamo, 
Barfin of Shiat Adonai, the whole caravay chem kocho, a el betatumotu zecha, a gadol bichvot shemecha, a gibor lanetach lana rabbin rotecha, a melech arushev, al kise ram venisa, shochenan barom ve kadoshemo. Be fie sharin titalal, uv divre tadikim tit barach, uv yoshom chasidim tit romam, uv kerev kedoshim tit kadash, uv makalot revevot amcha bet Yisrael. Lehodot lehalel, leshabeach lefaer, leromeim leader levarech, leyaleu kales, al kol divrei shirot, ventish bechot, David ben Ishai, avdecha meshichecha, ishtabach shimcha laad balkeinu. Barachot vehodaot meata veadolam Baruchat Adonai el melech gadol batish bachot El haodot adon haniflaot Habocher beshirei zimra melech el chea olamin Yit gadal veyit gadash Shemei Rabbah Be'omadivra chirutei Ve'amlich malchutei 
Chayichon of Yom Echon, Uchayed Chobet Yisrael, Chagalav Lizman Kari, Veimru Amen, Yehesh Merabba Mevora, Leola Mulome Omaya, Yitbarach, Yitbarach, Vishtabach, Vitbar, Vitramam, Vitnase, Vitadar, Vitalel, Vitalav, Shemede Kudesha Berichu, Leila Min Kobir Chata, Vishirata, Tushbechata, Venechemata, Tamiran Belma, Veimeru, Amen. Thank you, Mr. Barak, for leading us in our Pesuke de Zimra and Birchot Shachar morning services. Um, you may be seated for just a moment. We're about to begin Shachari with the words of Baruch Hu, but before we do so, we call up the Stern family to wish Sydney Mazel Tov on her bat mitzvah this morning. Have her come up to the bima. Yeah, bring everything up with you. Bring everything up. You two of you, come on up. Come on up. And present her with her talit this morning before we begin Baruch Hu and the blessings of the Shema. Shabbat Shalom. Your father and I are very proud of you. For a few moments, I thought I would share with you and the congregation some serious, not so serious facts about you. To begin with, you're a very proud Jew. Since you were little, going to Daddy Bert's Shabbats and Seders, you love the traditions of our religion. Singing, lots of singing, always singing, in the shower, in the car, everywhere. You love identifying with other Jews, especially their pop stars, such as Drake, g Easy, Adam Levine, and Pink. You also identify with tennis stars, such as Diego Schwartzman and Alina Svitolina. They gain lots of status with you as members of the tribe who have made a difference. You're fearless. As an advocate of fighting against genocide in the world with your work for Jewish World Watch, you don't let your youth or lack of political power get in your way. You lead marches against genocide. You find audience with politicians, such as Congressman Brad Sherman, to support anti-genocide legislation. And now you are taking on the LAUSD school board. This upcoming Tuesday morning, you'll be lobbying the school board to have them stop purchasing technology with conflict minerals mined from the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Oh yeah, and in the afternoon, you'll be meeting with Congressman Sherman's office. Good luck. In many ways, you have become my mentor. Your political involvement has motivated me to become more knowledgeable of these issues. You have inspired me to become involved with you in your passion to end genocide throughout the world. By the way, your mentoring has its limits though. I will not be swayed to listen to the music of Cardi B or g Easy, I will not be taking you to any rap concerts. That's your grandma's job. One that she seems to love, by the way. You are certainly unique. How many children's favorite movie is Hotel Rwanda? A movie about sectarian violence in a small country in Africa. How many kids want to learn French just to go to the Democratic Republic of Congo and help with the organization Africa New Day. You're amazing, and I love you. All right, good morning, everybody. Shabbat Shalom. Uh, <clears throat> um, sweetie, when I was thinking about what I was gonna say to you, and I've been kind of thinking about this for months, I thought about my own <clears throat> bar mitzvah a long time ago. And the bar mitzvah that I had and that occurred was just sort of a party. Um, I don't think I was really ready for any of the major, uh, any of the major jobs that I had to do as a Jew. I was certainly wasn't transitioning to another part of my life. I was just a 13 year old boy who had a big party and had a lot of fun. But that's not true of you. 
it's not at all. You are changing in front of our eyes. Um, you are really transitioning to a different part of your life. Uh, how can we tell? Well, at home, you're pitching in. You're becoming mesh. Well, it's not really mesh. You, things don't magically get into the dishwasher anymore. Things don't magically get cleaned up in your room. That's my job or had been my job. But now all of a sudden, it's becoming your job. You're pitching in. You're becoming a young woman. Uh, if I look at Gabe right here in front, we can tell with your tennis. Sydney is a, is a big tennis player. It's what she loves to do. And she's a competitive player. And about a year ago, something happened. All of a sudden, you decided it wasn't okay just to play a day or two a week. You decided to commit yourself to become really good. Um, this summer, in fact, you spent hours and hours with Gabe, three hours a day in the Woodland Hills heat, practicing your tennis one-on-one. -on -one. Your commitment has served. And lastly, the way we can tell is the way you've gotten ready for your bat mitzvah. Um, you're going to be very impressed, I promise. She's been working hard. Um, initially, it was Grandma Betty who pushed her about a year ago, let's get going, let's get going. And then it was Mommy who pushed you, let's get going, let's get going. But recently, it's all been you. It's been you. It's been your initiation to get yourself prepared and ready for this moment, and you are ready. Baruch Atah Adonai Elokeinu Melech Haolam Asher Hivtanu Hitzotav Vitzivanu Lehitatef Batitzi. Shabbat Shalom. You're hearing the sound of the oud this morning, played by Asher Levy. The oud is an ancient Middle Eastern instrument. It's the, uh, the forerunner of the lute and the guitar and a lot of other stringed instruments. It's ancient, as are the prayers that we sing. So this morning we thought we would introduce the oud alongside the prayers the, that we're going to be doing together. And hopefully they'll take you to a, a deeper place. That's always our goal. So this is an ancient melody, a Moroccan melody called the Yashma. So learn it. Baruch 
Israel. We turn to page 112 as Sydney leads us in the words of Shema Yisrael. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha. Bechol Lavavcha, Uvechol Nabshecha, Uvechol Meodecha, Vechayu Hadvarim Haelech, Asher Anohi Metzavecha, Hayom Alevavecha, Veshina Tam Lavanecha, Vedi Bar Tam Bam. Beshiv techa, bave techa, uvech techa, vadere, uvshach vecha, uvikumecha, ukshar tamle od, al yadecha, vecha yule tota fot, bain enecha, uvtav tam, amezuzo, be techa, uvishare.
Samantis geru vaasi temes komis rotai vihi tem kiroshim lelo echem ani adonai elechem asher hose tietem me eretz mitzrayim lehiot vachem lelo echim. Ani Adonai Elohechem. Ajarachem. Amen. Lidor Evador, who kayam, who shmo kayam, vechiso nachon, who malkuto vemunatolad kayam. Odeinu matzileinu meolam shemecha In Elohim zulatecha Zulata butinu adamu meolam Tehilol tel elyon Baruch ha'o mevarach Moshe v'nei Yisrael echonu shiro Basimcha Rabba ve'amru kulam mi kamocha ba'elim adonai mi kamocha ben arba kodesh no rote hilot osei fele shira chadasha shimeru gevlim lajim chal smadayom. Yachad kulam odu v'him lichu v'yomru Anunayim loch le'olam e'va'el Tzor Yisrael Oma me'ezrat Yisrael Obdechin omecha Yehuda v'Yisrael Go'aleinu Anunay tzema'o Shemo Kedosh Yisrael Baruch Ata Adonai Ga'al Yisrael On page 115b is the Shacharit Amidah. Sydney will be leading us in the first two paragraphs together, followed by the Kedusha. Page 115b. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Sadim tovim vekonecha ko vezocher haste avot umevi goel libne vneem leman shemo baachabas melechoser umoshia umagen baruch ata adonai magen Abraham uveket. Atagi bor leolam Adonai mechaye mi maitimata rab lo choshia mel ha kel ha yim bechesed mechaye meitim berachamim rabim so mech noflim berofecholim umatir asurim umekaye. Emunato vishene afar Micha moha bagibu rot Umidom elav Melet me meet umechayem Umaz me a Yeshua V'ne'emanata l'chayoyot meitim Baruch ata Adonai Mechaye ha-meitim Ne 
Reflection, the conclusion of which you may be seated. <laughs>
Sim shalom tova ubracha Chain va chesed verachamim verachamim Aleinu v'yalku Yisrael V'yal kol Yisrael amelecha Sim shalom tova ubracha And Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Welcome to Valley Beth Shalom on this beautiful August morning, getting ready for the last couple of Shabbatot of the summer, which is good. I hope for the families whose children are now back in school, you can breathe a sigh of relief that you have a few hours to yourself again. So say congratulations. I hope that your houses are getting cleaner and uh, that your, uh, your food bill is going down just slightly for snacks and ice cream. For those of you who don't have kids at home, you should know that traffic is picking up very precipitously around this valley as LAUSD is back in session, so just please be aware of that. And it's just nice to have everyone here this morning. Uh, let's rise together as we welcome each other to our congregation. Wish people shalom aleichem, Shabbat shalom to them, welcome them in peace as they've come just to celebrate this wonderful Shabbat morning together.
We're about to begin our Torah service this morning. We'd like to call forward Harold, Ruthie, Mark, Ed, Jenny, and Zach, as well as Jeffrey Goddetsman, Scott Stern, Mickey Janal, and Nathan Stern. We're about to open the ark and take out the Sefer Torah. We open our blue Sidorim, our blue prayer books, to page 139 to prepare for the Torah service. Ein kamocha wa Elohim Adonai Ve'ein kemaasecha Malchutecha malchut Kol olamim Omemshartecha Bechol dor evador Adonai melech Adonai madoch Adonai meloch Adonai Oz Leamo Yitain Adonai Varek at Amo Vashalom Alehorahamim Hetiva Virtsoha Etio Tivene Homo Yerushalayim Tivne Chobot Yerushalayim Ki Vecho Levad Batachnu Elechel Ram Benisat Adon Olamim Vayahi Bin Soa Oh, 
Sidarim and open up the red humashin this morning. You ready to read Torah? In uh, in the red humash this week, we're reading from the book of Deuteronomy, Parshat Shoftim, which is uh, on page 1088. This uh, happens to be a parsha near and dear to my heart for all sorts of reasons, not the least of which this is the portion upon which I was called to the Torah for my bar mitzvah. So I have a lot of triggering memories of uh, my own uh, uh, trauma becoming a bar mitzvah. <laughs> I grew up in, uh, in a small town, what used to be a small town in Plano, Texas, and our congregation didn't have a rabbi. We only had like 65 families when we joined, about 100 families when I had my bar mitzvah. And we, we had a storefront on Custer and Parker Road where the two of them met in a, behind a dentist's office. And uh, the conversations for our board meetings were, where are we going to find the money to rent enough chairs for a bar mitzvah? Because we didn't even have enough chairs for a bar mitzvah. And uh, I remember packing, packing that small storefront full of people and uh, 
learning and reading about the Torah portion and, and teaching it to them. This Torah portion is also important because it sets up the legal system that's inside the, the Torah. Until now, the legal injunctions that came through each one of the books didn't actually have a full-on system to support it. The closest we got was in Parshat Yitro, when Moses sets up 70 elders over the community. These elders were like mini-prophets, so to speak, and that they did adjudicate between quarrels amongst the Jewish people. But it wasn't a system. There wasn't a way of understanding how to make God's will relevant into the world. And so the book of Deuteronomy comes, and it begins to try to create this system, and which is what this Torah portion is about. You can just see on the first line, it says, you shall appoint magistrate and officials for your tribe. So it's the idea that we have to create a system to pursue God's justice, and we don't just do it from a purely theological point, which is something I will come back to uh, later after Musa. So this week's Torah portion, Shoftim, isn't just about that system. It's also about other rules, including rules of warfare, which I find very interesting. Um, just to give you one little bite, one little uh, morsel to, to think about, back in biblical times, the most obvious way to defeat an enemy was to besiege its city, which means that, you know, for those of you who don't know, a siege is where you put your army all the way around the outside of the city. You don't let people come in. You don't let people go out. And essentially, you starve the community to death. And when they're ready to capitulate, then finally they'll open their doors and you'll come in. That's how they used to do siege warfare. The innovation that's in this Torah portion says that when you do besiege a city, there are two things you have to keep in mind. The first is that you're not allowed to siege the city on four sides. You have to keep one side open. So there has to be a side of the city that is open, which means that you have to allow the enemy to come and go between your lines, which is a very interesting Understanding, if you understand that the purpose of a siege is to completely encapsulate a city and to, to have it cow to your will. So that's very interesting. The second one is that you're allowed to chop down all sorts of trees and build up all sorts of fortifications around the city in order to besiege it, but you're not allowed to cut down fruit trees, fruit-bearing, nut-bearing trees. And the reason the rabbis give behind that one is because you have inherited these trees as if you come into the land and those trees are there. And those trees might be there after you're gone. And that trees that can be used for food shouldn't be used for war. Which creates all sorts of interesting ethical and philosophical and theological questions. Not the least of which a practical question of, well, you can feed your army off the fruit trees, so why would you cut them down? And then the last piece of this, which, which spins out of this sort of fruit tree saving mitzvah that's in, the, in this week's Torah portion, is this very idea that we shouldn't affect the, more, the world more than we should. That we have, to be, we have to have restraint. And the laws of this idea called Baal Tashkit, which means that you shouldn't just dis, um, be a master destroyer or a wanton destruction come out of these laws of sieging another city. That you shouldn't necessarily take three paper cups when one will do. Or that you shouldn't necessarily chop down extra trees when only one is necessary. You shouldn't affect the world more than you should. So all of those questions come up for me and they all get kind of bundled into this idea of our responsibility in the world. Why do we leave a side open for our enemy. Why don't we why don't we chop down fruit trees? And why do we need to set up an entire system of magistrates, given that previously to this we had a system appointed by Moses of seventy elders? So I want you to be thinking about those questions, and Sydney has her own beautiful Devar Torah she's going to give this morning about this week's Torah portion. And as we prepare ourselves for Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, which are only a few weeks away. So let's open our books to page 1088, which is a meditation on justice, a meditation on the human and divine interaction. Sydney reads from the Torah. It's called the first Aliyah. <laughs> 
הכל הבוגרות התורה יעמדו הורי הבת מצה אברהם בן ברוך ומרים ואשתו טובה בת שמחה ובתיה ראשונים ברוך שנתן תורה לעמו ישראל בקדושתו ואתם הדבקים באדוני אלוהיכם חיים כולכם היום. אשר בחר בנו מכל העמים, ונתן לנו את תורתו, ברוך אתה אדוני נותן התורה. אמן. שופטים ושוטרים, תיתן לך בכל שעריך, אשר אדוני אלוקיך נותן לך בשרתך, ושפטו את העם. משפט צדק, לא תטה משפט, לא תכיר פנים, ולא תיקח שוחד, כי השוחד יעבר עיני חכמים, ויסתלף דברי צדקים. צדק, צדק, תרדו, למען תהיה ירשת הארץ. אשר עונה אלוהיך נותן לך. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם, אשר נתן לנו תורת אמת, וחיי עולם נטע בתוכנו. ברוך אתה אדוני נותן התורה. יעמדו בתיה בת מיכאל ופדה ומיכאל בן שמחה ובתיה לעלייה השנייה. ברוך אדוני המבורך לעולם בעת ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם אשר בחר בנו מכל העמים, ונתן לנו את תורתו, ברוך אתה אדוני, נותן התורה. אמן, אמן, לא תיתע לך אשר הכל עת עצר מצווה, אדוני אלוהיך אשר תעשה לך. ולא תקים לך מצבה, אשר תענה אדוני אלוהיך, לא תזבח, ואדוני אלוהיך שור בשה, אשר יהיה בו מום כל דבר רע, כי תועבד אדוני אלוהיך. אשר נתן לנו תורת אמת, וחיי עולם נטע בתוכנו, ברוך אתה אדוני נותן התורה. אמן. יעמדו יעקב על בת רחל ולאה, רחל בת ברוך ויעקב, מרים בת ברוך ומרים, ליביה חנה. בת ברוך ומרים לעלייה השלישית. ברוך אדוני אבורך, ברוך אדוני אבורך, Thank you. 
Amen. Kehol a 
asher yoruha. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher natan lana Torah shemet, et haye olam natah batzokhenu, Baruch atah Adonai, noten Torah. Amen. Lamdu Yehudit Bat Shanken Zev Hedlina Hedlima Shahot 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 Baruch 
Ladies and gentlemen, the Valley Vegetable Men's Choir is here. <laughs> Each of these fine young gentlemen is celebrating a birthday. Um, I don't know I'm if you are the oldest, Ron. <laughs> okay, Ron is the oldest. We have the, uh, the Chacham, the Tom, the Rasha, and the Sheena Yodei Lishol. I'll let you, four of you, decide which one is which. Maybe I should let your wives decide which one. <laughs> Which, let's uh, come close. Let's give you a blessing on your birthdays today. Mishaberach, Avotenu, Avraham, Yitzchak, Yaakov, Sarah, Rivka, Rechavaleah, Huyivarech, Bikol, Kol, 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 Is this like a month or a week or all in the same day? Because I don't know. Every day. Hayom, Hayom? Today, Hayom, Hayom. Within a week. Shalom, Lichvod, Hamakom, Lichvod, Torah, Lichvod, Shabbat. Akkodesh, Baruch, Hu, Nishmarei, and Bihat, Slecha, Bechol, Matzi, and Bechol, Amen. Amen. The one who's been a source of blessing for each and every one of us through all of our lives and indeed our history and our ancestors, give blessings unto these four gentlemen who were born into this world for goodness and who have come today before the Torah, before Shabbat, and before this community to celebrate Shabbat and to celebrate their birthdays together. May God always watch over you and care for you. May God continue to find you health and success in the coming years, and together we say, Amen. Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Shechianu V'Kiyamanu V'Yiyanu L'Azman Hazeh. Amen. Yivrecha Hashem Mitzion, Borei V'Tuv Yerushalayim. Yivrecha Hashem Mitzion, Bol Yemei Yemei Chayecha. Shalom on Israel. Shalom on Israel. Shalom on Shemeirabah, <laughs> Sydney's Maftir is found on page 1106, verse 9, in your red Kumashim, as we call her to read from the Torah. Barahu Adonai Hambora. Baruch Adonai Hambora Leolam Ba'ed. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Halam. Asher Bachar Banu Miko Haomim. Benatan Lanu Ed Torato. Baruch Ata Adonai Noten Hatora. Ve anu ve ameru ya deinu lo sh 
shafehu et dama ze ve nenu lo rau kapela mer le ampa israel asher padita adonai bialti ten damra ki be kerb amecha israel dini kapela chem hadam ve ata teva e Hadam hanaki ni kerbecha kita ase hayashar bene ai adonai. Baruch ata adonai Eloheinu melech alam asher natan lana turat emet bechaye olam nafta betochenu. Baruch Ata Adonai, no ten ha Torah. Yam dua magdia vera golelet, please rise. To rise together as we lift and bind the sacred Torah. Bezot ha Torah, asher sam moshe, libnei bene. You may be seated. The Haftarah for the for our Parshat Shof team is on page 1,108. It's from the book of Isaiah, and it represents the fourth Haftarah from Tisha B'Av, separating Tisha B'Av from Rosh Hashanah. It's a Haftarah of consolation. Beautiful Haftarah, page 1,108, and that will be preceded by some words of Torah by Sydney. Uh, on her reflections on this week's Torah portion. Shabbat Shalom. My Torah portion is called Shoftim, which is about pursuing justice. Anybody who knows me realizes this is the perfect topic for my bat mitzvah speech. Since I was eight years old, I've been involved with Jewish World Watch, which fights with injustice and genocide throughout the world. The organization was formed at Bali Beth Shalom by the late Rabbi Shulweis and Janice Kamner Resnick in 2004. Before I tell you more about my Torah portion and my story with Jewish World Watch, I need to define the two terms I just mentioned. Genocide is the targeted murdering of a group of people because of their race, religion, or political beliefs. We as Jews are more than familiar with genocide as the Holocaust tr tried to wipe out all Jewish people. The second term is justice, a word that we use all the time. But what does it really mean? In my mind, justice is about having a world where people are treated equally and those responsible for committing terrible acts are held accountable for their actions. Now, I would like to speak about, my, about injustice in the world and my experience with Jewish World Watch. When I was eight years old, attending VBS Hebrew School, I went to Mitzvah. At its booth, Jewish World Watch was telling the story of the Darfuri genocide. President al-Bashir of Sudan and his John Jaleed militia were murdering Christians in Sudan just because of their religion. I was angry, and I wanted to do something. But what could a little girl do? I spoke to Mina Rush of Jewish Shield Watch, and she recommended I do something to raise money against genocide. But how could I raise money? I, I had an idea. I've always loved making jewelry, and this would be a good way to raise money for genocide, genocide victims by creating and selling my own jewelry. I call my business Jewels for Justice. In the last four years, I have raised approximately $8,000 to, uh, to fight genocide. In my Torah portion of Shof Team, my favorite line is, Sedek, Sedek, Tirdo, or justice, justice shall you pursue. For we Jews, it is not enough to sit idly by and watch dictators murder innocent people. We must stand up and pursue justice. In Shoftim, Moses says that we must appoint fair judges to help figure out right and wrong. I understand how important this is for my own life. 
I play in tennis tournaments where opponents often make bad calls. Before getting out of my mind angry, I find a judge to watch over the game and deal fairly with the players. On a more important level, judges must hold bullies accountable for rape, kidnapping, and murder. The bad actors must face consequences for their actions. At the same time, the judge can be there to find a balance between the guilty and the victim. The judge is there to make sure that the guilty gets the punishment he or she deserves, but not going over the top. They aren't going to just see it from the victim's side, but also the guilty's. Now I'm becoming a bat mitzvah, and there is much to do. I will continue to raise money and call attention to injustice and genocide in the world. I will continue to be an activist and be looked at as an adult to the Jewish community. I would like to thank a few people for helping me prepare for my bat mitzvah. First, I would like to thank my parents and my grandma for guiding me through this experience. I would like to thank Asher Levy, Hunter Barron, Tanner J, and Yossi Dressner for preparing me for the Shabbat service. I would like to thank Rabbi Farkas for his guidance in helping me understand what a bat mitzvah is really all about. I would like to thank all of my family, many of whom have come from long distances. I'd like to thank my friends who couldn't make it and also who have supported me the whole way. <laughs> I would like to thank all the people at Jewish Old Watch who have taught me how to become an activist. I'd li lastly like to thank my tennis coach, Gabe, for giving me a killer game. Thank you all. Baru Ata Adonai Eloheinu Me'elech Halam Asher Bachar Bin Vi'im Tovim Viratzah Vidivrehem Hane'emarim Be'emet Baruch Ata Adonai Habocher Batorah Rav Moshe Abdo Israel Amo Unvin ve ha emet va tzedek. Uri, uri, liv shi ozef zion, liv shi big day tif artech. Yerushalayim, ir ha kodesh, kilo yosif, yavoch vod od, arel betameh. Kit na ari me afar kumi shavi Yerushalayim he patzehi motarai sevarah shivia batzion kicho amar adonai adonai hina nim kartem velo baches abtiga elum kicho amar adonai alchim mizraim. Yarad Ami, Varishana, Lagur Sham, Be Ashur Be Efes Ashako, Be Ata Malifone, Umadunai, Kilukah, Emihinam, Moshe Lav, Yehelilu, Ne Umadunai, Betami, Kohayom, Shimimanuat, Machen, Yada Ami, Shami, Lachem, Bayom, Hahu, Kiani hu hamedabe hineni manavu echecharim ragle mevaser mashmiya shalom mevaser tov mashmiya Yeshua omelatzion malach elochai kosofai naseu ko yaftav yiranenu ki ein be ein yiru. Bishov Adonai Fion Pitzehu Rane Nu Yaftav Harevod Yerushalayim Kini Ham Adonai Amoga Yerushalayim Hasaf Adonai Etzro Kodjo Leene Kohagoim Verau Klapte Aret Et Yeshuat Eloheinu Suru, suru, seulu, misham, 
tame al tigau se u mitoha ki baruf no se kele adonai kilo vehi pazon te seu vimusa lo telehun ki kolef mi fehem adonai mi apsi prem elo israel Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Halam Sur Koholam Mim Tzedik Becho Hadorot Ha'el Ha'ne'eman Ha'omer Ve'oseh Hamdaber Um Kayem Shekol Devarav Emet Vasedek Ne'eman Atahu Adonai Eloheinu Ne'emanim Devarecha Ve'davar Echad Midvarecha Achor lo yoshu reikam ki el melech ne'eman v'rachaman ata baruch ata Adonai ha'el ha'ne'eman b'chol devarav rachem al siyon hi ki beit ha'inu v'alu vet nefesh shoshia bimhe ravi amenu baruch ata Adonai. Mesamea siyom bavanecha. Samheinu Adonai Eloheinu Be'eliyahu Hanavi Abdecha Uvimelchut Be'i David Meshichecha Bimhera Yavo V'yelgel Libenu Al Kisolo Yeshev Zar Be'onin Halud Orachirim Et Kervado Kivashem Kedsha Nishba Shalom Shelo yichmei nero leolam ba'ed Baruch ata Adonai Magen David Al ha-Torah v'il ha-Vodah v'il ha-Nuvi'im Yom ha-Shabbat ha-Zeh Shena ta-Talanu Adonai Eloheinu Likdusha v'lim nucha Laka vodu v'tifaret Al ha-Kol Adonai Eloheinu Anachnu modim lach Uvarachim ota Yitbarashim ha-bifigol hai Tamid le'olam ba'ed Baruch ata Adonai Mekadesh ha-shabat Simen tov, mazel tov, mazel tov, simen tov, simen tov, mazel tov, mazel tov, simen tov, simen tov, mazel tov, mazel tov, simen tov, yeh lanu. Simen tov, mazel tov, mazel tov, simen tov, simen tov, mazel tov, mazel tov, simen tov, simen tov, mazel tov, mazel tov, simen tov, yeh lanu. Sydney, doing a good job. Are you still nervous? Kinda. Kinda, yeah. It takes a minute. Yeah, especially because this is like my not safe prayer. Oh, the Ashrei? Yeah. yeah, it's like some of the hardest Hebrew in the whole prayer book. It's true. That's why we have to teach it first. So, uh, as you know, this is my uh, my Torah portion too, and uh, it's always great to meet another young Jewish mind who cares about the world. And uh, when you told me, you know, about Grandmother Betty um, and your connection to Jewish World Watch through her and through your own work, it's just so inspiring to see someone who looks out at the world and sees the gap between the way the world is and the way it should be. Whether it's because of genocide and the just elimination of human dignity or it's something closer to home, that there always seems to be this 
yawning chasm between what we think God expects of us as the world and how it actually presents itself to us. That's why it says in the Torah portion, as we said, tzedek, tzedek, tirdok. It uses the word tzedek twice. The grammarians amongst us knows that when the word is used twice, it's meant as emphasis. We find that all over the Torah portion, and it's meant as emphasis, saying, pay attention to this one line, because it's really important. They didn't have blinking lights back in the day when they wrote the Torah. There's no hyperlink that you can click on. It's no photograph. It's just ink. So they had to put the word twice. But we rabbis, though, never fail to use that as an opportunity to teach us something deeper, which is that justice, which is worthy of our pursuit, also has to be pursued in a just manner. That's why tzedek is given twice. Tzedek one is meant to teach us about the sacred ends that we are supposed to achieve. And Tzedek two is meant to teach us about the sacred means that we need to use to get there. Which is why a judge has to be just, not only in their public life, but in their private life. And why a Jew has to be just, not only in what they show the world out to the world, but inside itself. When no one else is watching you making good and ethical decisions. Tzedek, tzedek, tirdok isn't just about ends, it's about the means you get to those ends. But we know, and this is my prayer for you, Sydney, that as you go out in the world, we know, all of us know, all of us who have children know, that you, the world will continue to disappoint you. You will continue to see things that break your heart, you will continue to meet people that will lie to you or try to cheat you. You will continue to see in the news travesty after travesty. And it is heartbreaking. And it is angering. And it is deflating. It is exhausting. It is all of those things. But it's part of the world. It is part of the world to know that not everyone lives up to the righteousness that you so want to see in yourself and in other people. But at that moment, that is the greatest moment to make a decision. Not just when you're 8 or 9 or 10 or 11 or 13 as you are now. Not just when you're 18. 12. <laughs> Thank you for correcting me. Sorry to disappoint you. But that is the moment of decision, Sydney. though, that you have to decide whether or not you are so morally exhausted from the world's disappointments that you choose to foot up your feet and say, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. I'm just going to pursue my own interests. I'm just going to have a good time. And you know everyone else, forget it. That's the moment that the Torah becomes even more important. Because it's in that moment that you have to decide to overcome your own exhaustion and to stand up and to lift yourself up and to go back into the public square and fight for what's right. Rabbi Tarpon says in Pirkei Avot, Lo alecha la hamikor, lo ben chorim lihivatel mimeno. You don't have to finish the task of making the world a better place. So I hope that gives you some relief from your feeling of disappointment or anger that might come. But nor are you free from pursuing that which was set out for you. You are part of a thousand generations of the Jewish people. All of us have been disappointed at one point or another by the world. And most of us, I hope, haven't forgotten the words of Rabbi Tarfon to put your shoulder to the wheel and to move the wheels of justice forward just a little bit more for our generation. And so that's my prayer for you. That as you go out into the world, and as you begin to learn of all the bright and shiny places and all the dark and scary places, all the musty places where justice's light seems so absent that you do not get tired. You don't just become a reasonable human being that says, I'm done trying to change the world. I'm now just going to put up my feet and watch other people do it. But that you put your shoulder to the wheel and you step out into the light of justice and says, this is what our God wants. Tzedek, Tzedek, Tirdok.
that's my blessing for you. And it comes from this deep place, this ancient place of blessing. The blessing that the ancients have given to every single one of us that you were blessed with on Friday night and on Shabbat and on the holidays. So I give you that blessing now. May God bless you as God has blessed the great mothers and women of our people. May God's light always shine down upon you and give you grace. May God's light show you the way forward, out into the world, and show you a world that is possible, a world of wholeness and peace and goodness. And together we say, Amen. I ask your folks to rise. Candace, Scott, Betty, anyone who's personally related to this young lady, please go ahead. This is your family. They care for you. They love for you. They pour their life into you. They've come here to celebrate with you far and wide. If you are here as an invited guest of this bat mitzvah to celebrate with her, please rise at this time. It's your wider community. This group also cares for you. This is the covenant that you have with them. To inspire them as they inspire you and to build a world of justice together. And if you are a member of the Valley Beth Shalom community or you're not a member of the Valley Beth Shalom community but you'd like to stretch your legs for a moment, Please stand up. As we care for you and love you, Sydney, and wish you a mazel tov on this beautiful day, we say a blessing for occasions just as this. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, shechianu v'kiyamanu, tiyanu l'zman hazeh, mazel tov. Simen tov, mazel tov, mazel tov, and simen. Simen tov, mazel tov, mazel tov, and simen tov. Simen tov, mazel tov, mazel tov, and simen tov. Yeah, elanu. Simen tov, mazel tov, mazel tov, and simen tov. Simen tov, mazel tov, mazel tov, and simen. Simen tov, mazel tov, mazel tov, and simen tov. Yeah, elanu. the red and Chumashim, open the red, uh, the blue Sidorim to page 151 as Sydney will make her way through the Ashrei. Ashrei Oshvei Beitecha Od Yachalu HaSela Ashrei HaAm Shekachalo Ashrei HaAm Shronai Elochav Tehillah David Aramimcha Elohai Hamelech, Barbar Hashim Kalyolam, Baed, Tehoyam Abarcheka, Barlelat Shim Kalyolam, Baed, Gadol Adonai Um Halome Od, Relieved you Lato, Ain Heker, Dolor Yishabam Masecha, Uvorotecha Yagidu, Hadar Kivod Hodecha, Vedivreno flotecha asiha. Zecher of Tuchaya be you, Betit Kata Yeraneno. Tobin on Isla Cole, Berahamab al Koma Asav. Kavod Malhuta Yomeru, Ugrata Yeda Beru, Kodiab Nifne Adam Gerota, Ugrota Dar Malhuto, Malhuta Malhut Ko Olamim, Umem Shalt Ka Behold Dorva Dor, E neho alecha isa beru, viatano ten lacham et ochlim bicho. This is 
Sadigarai Bahudrahab, Bahasi Behoma Asav. Red Sonia of your Asse, the Etcha of Tam Yeshma, Yoshi Ain, Tamerai Ekwaba, Tahilat Adonai Yedaber, Pibi Barakoba, Sar Shem Kutsholiolam, Vaet, the Anach Nunevarech, Ya, Mirtav Yerolam, Before we return the Sefer Torah, we take a moment for a prayer of healing for our community. If there is someone in your life that you'd like to say a prayer for or lift up in your heart, I ask you to rise at this time as we play for the ill in our community. Richard Zeitlin, Chaim Ben Labe, Talia Fay, Talia Ben Esther, Yaakov Shaul Ben Yaffa, Priscilla Bachia of Spitzenet Bat Ruth, Bert Orloff, Banish Ben Devora, Avi Doran, Joyce Kishnit, Charlotte Lane, Arlene Friedman, Rela Bat Sivia, Avitzor Ben Ruth, Michelle Henless, Eti Bat Fortuna, Pinchas Ben Edo, Alta Bat Esther, Yaakov Ben Farhang, Robert Schwartz, Marilyn Bronstein, Jennifer Wolf, Naomi Bat Stendel, Bob Cohen, Cynthia Jacobson, Tova Chaya Bat Sivya Bracha, Alan Resnick, Noah Israel Ben Yehuda Zahava, Baruch Yosef Ben Leah Rachel, Dr. Janet Resnick, Cynthia Jacobson, Jose Miguel, Malcolm Bernstein, Leo Howard, Amy Anker, Susan Feldman, Sarah Miriam Bat Golda, Stephanie Fried Terechenko, Ruti Bat Chana, Shira Bat Chaviva, Reisel Bat Vega Ben Miriam, Rabbi Arnold Stiebel, Elaine Burke, Jane Spitzer. Please lift up the names of those you wish to pray for now. HaKodesh Baruch Hu, you have bore us through the desert on your wings, and you have given us the ability to live and, le- and have he- healing in this world. We pray for the skill of the physician who can he- heal those who are ill through us, your witnesses. May you impart upon them healing of spirit and healing of body. As you said, against the void and the blackness of the world, you said, he or let there be light. Together, we say, Amen. Amen. Full and speedy recovery to all those who are ill. Together, we say, Amen. You may be seated. We're about to return the Sefer Torah to the Ark. If you've been honored with carrying the Torah or opening the Ark, I ask you to please come forward at this time, including Marilyn, Barbara, Ellen, Evie, Imelda, and Brianna as well as Scott and uh, Gabe Harmet. Please come forward at this time. We return the Sefer Torah on page 153. We rise together. Yehalaluat Shem Adonai Kiniskov Shem Olevado Odo Valeretz Veshamayim Vayarem Keren Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Miss Morla David, how Shall 
just a moment. There once was a, a father who had a son that was coming up in the world and he wanted him to become a tradesman just like he was. And he asked around what kind of trade do you want to do? And, and the son says, well, I want to be an artisan. I want to make important things. I want to make cabinets and lamps, and, and I want to sell them in the world. And the father said, great. So he saves up a bunch of money, and he sends his son off to Italy to learn the most important trades of all the craftsmen's, craftsmanship. And then after three or four years, the son comes home, graduated with his diploma, and he comes home, and he asks his father, how, uh, how everything's going. And the dad says, oh, everything's great. We're so excited that you've now learned all of these crafts. I want you to show them off. We should create a small expo so that you can uh, show off your wares and begin your business life. And the son said, sure. And so they gather some materials together. And the son starts working. And then a couple weeks later, they have the expo. And the father, so proud, brings all of his friends, all of his business partners, all the craftsmen of the town to see his son's work. And he sees his son's work, and they walk in, they open the doors, and they wander in, and they look at the cabinets, they look at the lamps, they look at the couches. And very eager at the end, the son and the father are standing together at the end of the line, 
as they come out of the expo looking to see maybe there's something someone wants to buy or to order or to go into business. And they all have looks of disgust on their faces. Disappointment. Bewilderment. Confusion. And the father asks his friends, why, friends, why, why are you looking so sad and morose and confused? And they said, look, buddy, we know you love your son, and that's why we came. But he's the worst craftsman who's ever lived. Every mistake possible in the book this young man has made. Look at this lamp. It doesn't even hold a wick. Look at the cabinet. It doesn't even line up right. The drawers don't close. Look at this couch. Who can sit on the couch? Every single mistake in the book has been made. I know you spent a lot of money on Harvard, but seriously, he's not going to make it. And the father, looking appropriately disappointed, turns to his son and said, what do they spend all this money on tuition for? Teach you how to become a perfect craftsman, and here you've made every mistake in the book. And the son laughs, and he says, Dad, in craft school, they teach you how to make perfect things. But nobody teaches you how to live life. And so I chose to make every mistake in the book to show off how to make mistakes. Because perfection is not something that can actually be achieved in the world. It's only something that can be pursued. And that each one of us can maybe, maybe spend our whole lives trying to fix that which was broken. Trying to perfect that which is imperfect, knowing that we can't always accomplish the task. And a simple craftsman can make a chair that works, but a true artist makes a chair that's completely broken and then turns it into something beautiful, which is what I've done. Of course, it didn't pay the bills, but everyone loved what he had to say. But there's deep wisdom in that, and that's why I want to return to just to talk briefly about the Torah portion and where we are in the cycle of the, of the year. Tzedek, Tzedek, Tzir, Dov. Sidney talked about it so beautifully. That it's important to ach- pursue justice. And then this whole thing about besieging a city and leaving a side of it open, and not cutting down the fruit trees, establishing magistrates, they all have something to do with each other. The first question you have to ask yourself is, why did it take God so long to get to this point? Right? We're, we're, we're deep into the book of Deuteronomy. That's about 200 chapters into the Torah. Why did Tzedek Tzedek Terdof take 200 chapters to get into the Torah? Why didn't it say, in the beginning when God created the world... God separated light from darkness, called the darkness night and the light day, and God said, said it, said it, teardo. Why not? Well, that would be so much easier for us to figure out what God wants from us. Why did we have to go through the whole Shmai of the Ark and Noah and the Tower of Babel and the Akedah, the binding of Isaac, where Isaac almost died on the altar? Why did we have to go into Egypt? Why did we have to get dragged across the desert to the mountain? And then dragged another 40 years through the desert before we ever hit the promised land, before we ever hear it. Tzedek, Tzedek, Tirdo. You ever wonder that? It would be so much easier if we knew what God wanted from us from the very beginning. The rabbis certainly had the same question. They asked this question too. They asked, why does God wait to show us what justice is supposed to be? And the answers they give are, are, are quite remarkable. They say that that. Justice, justice is, even though you call a God, Shofet Haaretz, the judge of the world, we can't understand what justice is until we've lived enough life to know what justice could be. You haven't lived long enough to get to Sinai. And then for the people that got, arrived at Sinai and they heard, Lo Tirzach, Lo Tignov, don't murder, don't steal. That's a great law, but they don't know what that means or how to live by those laws. And so it takes another 40 years in the desert of living and wronging each other and trying to right what is wrong for then the value of justice to instead of coming down from on high, it wells up from the earth. Which was maybe God's intention all along. Any of us who are parents know that 
we begin by doing everything for our children. We clothe them, we dress them, we bathe them, we clean them, we feed them, we tell them when to go to sleep, we wake them up, we tell them what TV to watch or not to watch. But eventually, when you have a young child, that child has a will, and that child begins to assert their will. I know this very deeply. My daughter's 10th birthday is tomorrow, and she has let me know that this means the game is changing. <laughs> Which it is, very, very much so. I have to wake up early in the morning and take her to get her ears pierced because she's insisting on it. I mean, she has control over her own body more than, than I ever did. The same is true, and not to overly use a parenting, parental metaphor in the Torah, but the same is true. The story of the Torah is God learning to be God and human beings learning to be human beings. And God knows we've screwed it up enough times in the beginning. God screws it up, we screw it up. We all mess up. That's okay. And then comes the book of Deuteronomy and finally says, you know all that stuff about love your neighbor as yourself, about being created in God's image, about loving your parents and keeping Shabbat? You know all that stuff? This is what I think it actually means. Sedek, sedek, tirdok. And by the way, tirdok doesn't mean to you shall pursue, doesn't mean you will achieve. It doesn't mean that you will complete. It doesn't mean that you have it in your pocket already. It means that it is in pursuit. It is forever the chase for that which is righteous in the world. But we didn't come to that in Genesis. We didn't come to that in Exodus. We didn't come to that in Numbers. Or in, we've only come to it now in Deuteronomy. Because it's only in this generation that as an accumulated human history, come to understand what the word tzedek might actually mean. Which is why the rest of the Torah portion is so important. Because we need human beings to adjudicate each other's problems. We cannot rely on diviners or sorcerers to tell us who is right and who is wrong. It has to be laid bare with al pishnayim on two faces of witnesses coming to an agreement about what they saw and experienced and understanding that a human being, both the victim and the perpetrator, their lives hang in the balance. And that what God wants from us is not prophetic justice, but the grinding out of real justice in real time even though we know that we might not ever get there. We might not ever achieve it. We still have to pursue it. We might not always be right in its pursuit. Which is why when you besiege a town, you cannot be so harsh as to let everyone die. You can surround it on three sides and assert your power and say your cause is just, but you have to leave, as this week's Torah portion says, a space open in the back for people to escape. Because we can never be totally sure of our own sense of self-righteousness. And we have to let them flee. We have to let them become refugees. We have to let them pursue their own lives. And the same is true for the sense of world when you are besieging the city and cutting down fruit trees. God is the creator, and God is the destroyer in some ways, but God's theme of creation is that of uh, fecundity, of replicating the life that is, exists on the world. And you don't have a right to cut down a fruit tree because that is a gift to you from the universe. And you have to be a custodian. And you have to check your own sense of self-righteousness that you're willing to completely lay waste a forest, even though you feel like you're in the right. Which leads to this last piece before we dive, before we pray Musaf together. Rosh Hashanah is only a few weeks away. So when we gather together, thousands of us will be in this room and in every other room on campus asking this deep question, Who will live and who will die? 
and our sins are laid bare before the great accountant in the sky who looks at us and knows our secrets and then will decide in which column will we fall? Are we amongst the righteous? Are we amongst the middle people? Are we amongst the evil ones? It's hard to know. But what we do know is that God's sense of justice cannot be strict. Each one of us can feel besieged on three sides by justice, but God, we ask God to leave one side open, to allow us to live, to allow us to amend ourselves, allow us to make tshuva for ourselves, because we know that perfect justice is impossible to achieve. But we have to do that. The Maimonides, the Rambam says, Yom Kippur does not give expiation for sins committed between people. That is your responsibility. You cannot go through the world sinning every day and then expecting God just to forgive you for the sins you've committed against other people on Yom Kippur. That's not how Yom Kippur works. Yom Kippur besets you with the idea of strict justice and with the idea of mercy. And it is the idea, that idea that you have to bring into your life yourself. That you can be sure of your self-righteousness only to a point. But when you're faced with real human beings, real people in front of you, you also find a place of mercy. That's what true justice means. And it's why it wasn't given in the beginning. Because if it was given in the beginning, we would see it to be so constitutional in who we are as people, we would never have mercy for each other. And so as we prepare for the Musaf service, and we learn and think about what it means to be imperfect in the world, to try to mend the breach, to try to craft our lives like that young boy, and try to take something that is imperfect and make it beautiful, both through justice and through mercy. And so we rise together, we pray, we prepare ourselves for the Musaf service, and indeed for Rosh Hashanah as it's coming on page 155. Yitkadal Mikarashem Meraba, Belma Divrak, Yutavian Lich Malkute, Behayekonu Mekonu, Hyro de Yitrael, Bagalau Visman Karivahimro, Yehesh Meraba Mevara, Leala Mulal Mel Maya, Yitvara Vishnavak, Vitvar, Vitramina Se, Vitadar, Vit Ale, Vitalam Shame de Kudisho. Brikulei la min kol vira de vishirata tush pagada baneche mata da miran viyama behimaru Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu velohe avoteinu Elohe Avraham Elohe Yitzchak velohe Yaakov Elohe Sara Elohe Rivka Elohe Rachel velohe Lenya Ha el hagadol hagibor ve hanora el leyon gomel chasadim tovim ve kone hakol ve zocher chasdei avot u me vigo el libne venehem le man shemo ve ahava melechuzer u moshia u magen. Baruch atah Adonai, Magen Avraham ufoked Sarah, Atah Gibor le'olam Adonai, Mechayei meitimata Rav lehoshia, Mechalkel chayim bechesed, Mechayei meitim berachamim rabim, Somek noflim verofe kohim, O matir asurim, O mekayem emunato, lishene afar, mi chamocha baal gevurot, O midom elach, melech menit, O mekayem, O matmiach yeshua, 
Venemanata, Lehakayot, Matim, Baruch, Atadonai, Mechaye, Hametim. Try singing something with me. Lie, la 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 try it. la 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 Kesson siach sarfe kodesh Hamakdishim shimcha bakodesh Kakatu valeyan viecha Vikarazel ze vehamar Kadosh, kadosh Adonai <laughs> Shohalim zelazeh Aye, aye, mekom mekevodo Leumatal baruch yomehu Baruch kevod Adonai mimekomo Mimekomo yifem berachamim veyachon am hamyachadim shemo erev avoker mechol yom tamid pa'amayim beahava shema omrim shema Yisrael. Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Ooh, Eloheinu, ooh, Avinu, oh, Malkeinu, Moshiach. Vehun yashmiyen Rachamal shenit Lehene kol chai Leot lachel leelohim Ani Adonai Eloheichel Udivrei kod shechal Katum leemor Im Eloch Adonai Elohayich Tzion, Ledor Evador, Halleluja, 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 Halleluja. Ledor Evador, Nagid God Lecha, Ola netzach netzach im kedushat ha nakdish. V'shiv chacha Eloheinu, mipinu lo yamush leolam vahel. Ki el melev gadol v'kadosh ata, baruch ata Adonai. Ha'el ha 
Kadosh. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. On page 158, silently, with the words of the Musaf Amida, a moment of private prayer, conclusion of which you may be seated. Page 181. Yit kadal ve yit kadash meraba ve al madivra chirute ve amlik malchute ve chayichon ve yomechon ve chayid ve beit Yisrael magala uvisman karivim rohame yehesh meraba mevara. The Allah Mulal may or my own. Yeet Marak, the Yishtamak, the Yeet Paar, which your mammy does say. Vita Dar, Vita Levi, Talal, Shemena Kudisho, the Rikule, Lamin Kol, Vira of Shira, Tatush, Mata, Damiram, the Amama Himro, Tikaval, Salot, Honoma, Hon, Hon, Israel, Kodam, Abba, Mishmaev, Himro, Yahesh, Lama, Rabba, Mishmaev, the Chayim, Alain, the Alcon, Israel, the Himro, O Se, Shalom, Bim, Roma. Oh, yes, shalom aleikum, ve'al kol Yisrael, v'imru, imru, amen. Yes, shalom, yes, shalom, shalom aleinu, ve'al kol Yisrael, yes, shalom, yes, shalom, shalom aleinu, ve'al kol Yisrael. Yase shalom, yase shalom, shalom aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael. Yase shalom, yase shalom, shalom aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael. Yase shalom, yase shalom, shalom aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael. A little Ladino this morning. Ein kelo heinu, ein kadoneinu, ein kemalkeinu, ein kemoshi heinu. Non como estro dio, non como estro señor, no 
non como vuestro rey, non como vuestro salvador. Dije no heino, dije no heino, dije mal que heino, dije no heino. ¿Quién como nuestro Dios? ¿Quién como nuestro Señor? ¿Quién como nuestro rey? ¿Quién como nuestro salvador? No de la Eloheinu, no de la Doneinu, no de la Malkeinu, no de la Moshieinu. Gracias nuestro Dios, gracias nuestro Señor, gracias nuestro Rey, gracias nuestro Salvador. Baruch Eloheinu, Baruch Adoneinu, Baruch Malkeinu. Baruch Moshieinu, bendicho nuestro Dios, bendicho nuestro Señor, bendicho nuestro Rey, bendicho nuestro Salvador. Atahu Eloheinu, atahu Adoneinu, atahu Malkeinu, atahu Moshieinu, tú sos nuestro Dios. Tú sos nuestro Señor, tú sos nuestro Rey, tú sos nuestro Salvador. Atahu shehiktiru avoteinu lefanecha et ketora tasamim yai la 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 yai la 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 yai la 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 yai la 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 Aleinu l'shabeach l'adon hakon L'atet g'dula l'yot sev reishit Sh'lo asanu k'goye aratzot V'lo samanu g'mish b'chod ha'adama Sh'lo sam chelkeinu k'ahem V'gohor aleinu k'chul ha'monam V'adam לפני מלך מלכי המלכים הקדוש ברוך הוא שם לכם שמים וסמים וידעת כך כתוב בתורתך ארון ימלוך לעולם ועד ונאמר והיה אדוני למלך על כל הארץ ביום ההוא, ביום ההוא יהיה אדוני אחד ושמו, ושמו, ושמו booklets behind your seats, the Shabbaton, you'll find in the back the names of who's, those people who passed away whose lives we're celebrating this week for the York sites. In addition, Valley Beth Shalom remembers the passing this week of Margaret Winnegar, wife of David Winnegar, mother of Catherine and Dr. Prosper Benheim Winnegar, and Elizabeth Jane and Joshua Santos, in -law, and their in-laws is Georgette Benheim. Margaret was a grandmother of four. As well as the passing of Sandra Cohn, mother of Lorna Miriam Cohn and Susan Cohn, sister of Janice and Dr. Frank Kanofsky, she was a grandmother of five. As well as the passing of Hilda Goodman, mother of Bobby Goodman and Arlene and Jerry Rosenstein, sister of Ruth Abrams, grandmother of four and great grandmother of seven. If you were in mourning or were observing a yard site or would just like to say Kaddish, please rise at this time and turn to page 184. And in our congregation, the loneliness one feels when they are in mourning should be abated by the warmth of another. So if you see someone who's standing alone, please go stand with them as we recite Mourners Kaddish on page 184. <speaking in Hebrew> Yehe Shme Rabba Mevarach Leolam Ome Omaya Yit Barach Vishtabach Vit Faar Vit Ramam Vidase Vit Adar Vit Ale Vit Alal Shme de Kudsha Brichu Leila Minko Birchata Vishirata 
Tushbechata v'nechamata. Dami ran v'yama v'yamru. Amen. Yehei shlama rabba min shemaya. V'chayim aleinu ve'ako Yisrael v'yamru. Amen. Ose shalom v'yamru. Avhu yase shalom. Aleinu ve'ako Yisrael v'yamru. Amen. May God give comfort to each and every one of us who are in mourning today. And together we say, Amen. You may be seated. It's my pleasure now to call my friend Norm Levine, who is the chairman of the board, for a few announcements. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. It's wonderful to spend Shabbat morning with all of you. And thank you to everyone who made this service so beautiful this morning, to Rabbi Noah Farkas on the anniversary of his bar mitzvah. It was a beautiful musical morning. Thank you to Cantor Phil Barron, to Bob Remstein, and Asher Levy for all of the beautiful music, to our ritual director, Yossi Dresner, uh, to our Gabbai Rishon, Dr. Ron Ryder, who made sure everything worked so beautifully on the Bema, and to our greeter, Karen Gettleman. Sydney, congratulations. You did a wonderful job of reading and of speaking to us uh, and uh, to your parents, to Scott and to Tammy and to the very proud grandmother, Betty. Mazel tov to all of you. It was a joy to spend the morning with you. Uh, Sydney, we have some gifts from you, for you from the congregation. We have a Kiddush cup from Sisterhood and a Tzedakah box from the Men's Club and two books. Uh, one about Israel and one written by our own Rabbi Feinstein and a one-year membership in USY. I hope you'll take advantage of USY. I hope you'll continue your involvement with us all here at Valley Beth Shalom and all of your involvement in the community, Jewish World Watch and everything else we're doing. Congratulations on all of that. We have out in the hallway a new art exhibit. It's called Hands On, Hands on Hamsa Exchange. It's very beautiful. I saw it for the first time this morning. I hope you'll take a look at it as you leave today. Our summer learning series continues Thursday night. It's the Summer Book Club. Rabbi Ed Feinstein will be talking about Yossi Klein Halevi's new book, Letters to My Palestinian Neighbor. Yossi Klein Halevi, as many of you know, is a, an American-born Israeli author and journalist who made Aliyah some 35 years ago. He writes for the, uh, uh, the L.A. Times and the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal, often on the op-ed page. And he's the coordinator of the M Muslim Leadership Initiative at the Shalom Hartman Institute, which teaches Muslim American leaders about Judaism in Israel. His new book, Letters to My Palestinian Neighbor, was published earlier this year. In it, Halevi, in his word, opens a dialogue with an imagined Palestinian neighbor. He frames his chapters as a series of le letters to that neighbor, which includes concise histories of Israel and his own life and how his views on a variety of subjects have changed. Halevi says he's seeking to start the first public conversation between an Israeli writer and our neighbors about who we are, why we see ourselves as indigenous to this land, and what is our shared future in the region. The Wall Street Journal calls it a call not to arms but to empathy. Whatever your views on the Middle East and the state of Israel, it promises to be a very interesting discussion. This Thursday night with Rabbi Feinstein at Valley Beth Shalom starting at 7.30. All are welcome. We hope you'll come. The holidays are coming. Slichas is two weeks from tonight, and Rosh Hashanah is three weeks from tomorrow night. What that means is if you haven't sent back your membership package, Please send back your membership package. It's time to send out high holiday tickets, and it's important that we have your membership. If you're not a member, we welcome your membership. We hope you'll take advantage of this wonderful, warm community. We'd love to have you as members. If you have any questions about membership, find me at Kiddush. I'd be happy to talk to you about it. Parsha discussion will be about 20 minutes after services in the Zicklin Lieberman Youth Lounge. Judy is away this week. Our own Dr. Ron Ryder will be leading the discussion. I hope you'll have a chance to join with him. Kiddush is right behind us in Glazer Hall immediately after the services. On behalf of our president, David Spiegel, the officers, directors, and staff, Shabbat Shalom. Norm was serious about the membership packet. That's, you know, I got to pay tuition too. So please send in your membership packet so I can uh, put Cheerios on my table. And uh, anyway, so I hope everyone is getting ready for a beautiful Rosh Hashanah and uh, having an opportunity to uh, begin to reflect. If there is someone in your life that you haven't spoken to that you think you might need to, or something that you might have said that maybe you shouldn't have, now is the time to begin reflecting on that question 
bringing in those people that have been distanced from you, bringing them closer again. Let us bless this day. Let us make Kiddush together. We rise together as we invite Sydney's family up to the Bima to make Kiddush. V'sham uvenei Yisrael et ha-shabbat la'asot et ha-shabbat la'jorot na'berit olam v'nei uvin v'nei Yisrael o'ti le'olam ki sheishat yamim asa Adonai et ha-shamayim yet Shabbat we cut shehu Sabri Grotai Brabotai Baruch Hatzad on I alone he knew Melechalam Pore Pore Baruch Hatzad on I alone he knew Melechalam Hamotzi I don't know Lama Sher Malach, but Terem Kol Yitzir Nivra, the Eight Nasav Hef So Kol, as I melech, as I melech, as I melech, Shel Monik Rave, Achareng Kiplot Zagol, Levado Yim Lot Nora, the Ho Hayave, Ho Hove, the Ho Yeve Chifara. I don't know Lama Sher Malach, the Jerem call me at Sydney Rock, the eight Nasa Hef so cool, as I melech, as I melech, as I melech, Shemon Nikra, the whole Echad Vien Shani, the Ham Shiloh Lithak Vira, the Lire Shit Billy Tachvit, the Lohaos Ham Isra. I don't Terem kol yitzir nivra, the eight nights of a chef so cool. As I melech, as I melech, as I melech, shemon nikra beyado af kidruki, the eight ishan meyahira, the imruchi geviati, Adonai live lo hero. Shabbat Shalom.